episode of Red Hawk Media. Today it's just a quick tip for Adobe Encore. We're working on uh, making DVDs and uh, one of the things that came up is some of the menu stuff. So we're going to switch over to the menu tab and currently what we've got is we've got the sunset generic menu that's in here and it's all set up by episodes and uh, the way we would normally do this is we'd click on our episode and then we would go ahead and go over to our link and we would choose what we want to link it to. Now here's the dilemma right now. I've linked it to chapter one, but chapter one has got this black frame. It looks really bad and it's it's not going to work out for my menu. So now I've got to get something more appealing on there. So down below here, down in the sequence area, I can go ahead and change that. Um, I'm going to set a poster frame actually. Before I do that, I'm going to switch to the monitor tab so I can see what's going on in my sequence. And now I can drag this along and see what's going on. Okay, And I've got chapter 1 selected right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to find a frame. Let's say it's this one. Normally you would not have a chapter link for your, uh, your bumper, but we're going to do this just for the sake of uh, demonstrating. Now I'm going to right click on my chapter marker and I'm going to say set poster frame. Now, this picture will become the poster frame for my chapter. Okay? If you want to see that again, let's go ahead and skip. I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out here so we can see chapter 2 actually, which I would actually treat as chapter 1 here. But uh, for chapter 2, let's go see what that one looks like. And we're going to go over to our link uh, to our sequence in chapter 2. Now this one's okay. Um, if I wanted to improve upon that picture though, again, I can take the cursor, mouse over here, switch over to the monitor, and let's say we want to get a picture where they're facing forward. Maybe Rising Stars is the part that we want on there. Okay, now I can right click on the chapter marker, set the poster frame, and then I head back to my submenu, and there it is. It's all updated. And it looks a heck of a lot better than what a, a black frame would look like. So this is just a quick tip to help stylize your menus a little bit better. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.